Good morning. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, Internet. Good morning, world. Happy Sunday to you. It is Sunday, the 29th of September, 2019. I went to the car boot sale. I should have stayed in bed. It really wasn't worth the trip. I look a bit frazzled. I got caught in the, in the rain. My hair has gone frizzy. It's a, it's, it is what it is. Um, hopefully some people are wandering in a second and say hello. People are wandering in behind me. <laughs> Here comes trouble. Uh, good morning, Shazad, Jason and Deb. Good morning, Lexi and James. Good morning. How are you? Good. 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 Okay. Is this your, your YouTube voice? Good. Okay. Uh, good morning, Carrie and good morning, Claire James. One Claire. Oh, good Lord. Everybody suddenly ran in at once. We all stuck in the door together. Good morning, Laurel and Jojo. Good morning, Catherine and just me. How are you all? Good morning, Relove Reseller. How the devil are you? Are you all well? What are you two doing today? Don't really know. We're going out for dinner. It's my mum's birthday. Yeah. 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 And guess what it said on. Guess what it says on the card? What does it say on the card? Happy birthday, wine not celebrate. Wine not celebrate. That's very good for Lexi's mum. Lexi's mum doesn't mind a drop of wine, does she? <laughs> and then if I lived with you, I'd like a drop of wine too. No. If I lived with you, I would be a dipsomaniac. There's a long word for you to go and look up in the dictionary. Uh, good morning, Bumblebee and Michaela. Good morning. Good Lord. Hold old 15 Diva and Fraser Georgia 1643. I will not be reading that out in full. You'll, you'll have to be shortened to Hall. <laughs> good morning, Neville. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning. Natalie says we're going to go out and leave you with the kids, okay? And Ryan says, Natalie and Ryan in the chat are downstairs threatening to leave me babysitting. I will put them in the oven if you do this. Ryan says, tell James to smile. Move go so you're on. So you on the screen. Dad, go on. Dad, Dad's in the chat and he smile, says you've got to smile. Smile. <laughs> smile. We should be the wrong way. Yeah, the smile. camera's the wrong way, yeah. <laughs> I always oh, smile. Dear. Joan's in. Good morning, Joan. Brian says Christ College Child has a live children's choir now, very upscale. Can you sing? Yeah. Go on then. No. There you go. I've got a non working children's choir apparently on strike. <laughs> Climate I'll strike and all that. when the video is off. <laughs> okay. Good morning, Kerry, who's here for the first time in chat. Everybody say hello to Kerry and be nice to her. Be gentle with Kerry. Good morning, Dave by Glamour and Lisa. Oh, wait. Let's take a picture of you. Okay. Shouldn't you two be somewhere else doing something else? Carla yeah. likes Damn it. Carla likes that. Maria. Good morning, Lex. Lex says, no, wait, I need a wee. All right, we'll all wait for you, Lex. Don't you wait. Not much is happening here anyway. So, you know, you can uh, go for your wee, Lex, while I try and dispose of the children. I don't need one. No, the other Lex. Big Lexi. Oh. Big Lexi is in the chat and she's going for a wee. Yeah. Not little Lex. I trust you to know whether you need to wee or not, <laughs> on account of the fact that you're like 42 now. What? You're not 42? Sorry, 41. My bad. Hey! Uh, good morning, Bethan. Like seven. I thought you were doing like. It's going to be one of those days, isn't it? It's going to be one of those days. Why do you like Mario Brothers so much? If you were, if you people are still in the chat, would you like to take your children away now? <laughs> Death, Death by Glamour said, said cheese for the camera when you were taking the picture. Oh, okay, see it again. Oh, it's all gone a bit wild here. It's all gone a bit wild. I went to the car boot. It was poor. In answer to your question, Kelly, I did go to the car boot. It was piss poor. It was not worth going. What? I did. I did say I said a bad word. Who's back? It was a terrible car boot. It was not worth going. I should have stayed at home in bed. Then if I stayed at home in bed, I'd have had the company. Not in bed. That would have been weird. Good morning. Um, <laughs> Dev says character 10. Uh, good morning, uh, Tracy Baker. I think I've said hello to Joan already. Good morning, Lisa J. I'm sorry if I've missed anyone. Lex is back from her wee and we can continue. Uh, <laughs> she just answers family friendly. Yeah. Got to watch my language now. I forgot the audience here. Um, yeah, so terrible car boots, huh? Can we come to take them away? <coughs> Bye, children. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. Oh dear. Um, I spent 
four pounds. Can you count them? One, two, three, four. Four pounds. Okay, can you count? I'm now talking to you like you're the children. Shall we count together, children? Oh, dear. And Catherine says, bye, kids. Smell you later. Four pounds. It was a dismal car boot. I should have stayed at home in bed. But I had been already been up since five, so I'd already been like awake for two and a half hours before I even went to the car boot. I do have... Stay tuned, by the way, because I do have a mystery friend mail package to open during this live stream. I'm excited about that. So, um, hang on, my chair has gone down. You know when you sit on your, your chair and, and for some reason it just slumps? Hang on, bear with. There we go. I made all the difference. Okay. Um, people are talking about Lexus holiday to Croatia, which did look very nice, actually. Did look like a good holiday. I did get wet in the rain. My fringe looks terrible. Where's the tat doctor to comment on my fringe when I need him? Shazad says, never work with children. It never ends well. <laughs> that is it. Why are you here? <sighs> Can you see Natalie's head? Yeah, she's just got out of view. Why are you here? <laughs> Come on, bacon face. Come and say hello. <laughs> she was going to joke. Go on then. Shall I pretend we didn't know that was going to happen? Bacon faces in, you're not in screen. You're just showing them your boobs. A bit more, a bit more. There we go. <laughs> yeah, <that's okay. laughs> um, you take children back. Sorry? Yeah. Excellent. Take them away. Put them in the oven. Bake them slowly on low heat with a, some sort of marinade. I don't cook children very often. Um, Kathy says, has anybody else's YouTube viewing changed? The chat is underneath the video and I can't see both at the same time. I have no idea, love. I'm watch. I'm streaming through Streamyard, and so the chat is all different for me anyway at the moment. So, oh, wonderful! Thank you. Now that's what you call a good son. Look at that! It's bought me a sausage and bacon sandwich. He's a good lad. He's a good lad. He may not get much conversation. <laughs> You are disinherited. I am not leaving you on my tap when I die. Did you really just scream? <laughs> I will die one of these days. They, they find this hilarious. They will do this and I will die. And then they'll be sorry. That will lure them. My poor little heart. Can you hear Lexi in the background? That was so funny. Ha ha ha. Horrible child. Right. I have a criminal past. It makes me jumpy. I've missed so much in the chat. Mostly people laughing at me. Good morning, Sam. Uh, good morning, Jilly Jones. First time in the chat. Everybody would be lovely to Jilly. Hello. Ant is in the house. Yes, he's cooking breakfast. Um, people are talking about the chat problem. <laughs> That's as I recommend closing that door. Not only closing it, but also br <laughs> bricking it up might be a good idea. Out, out, out. Nobody's allowed in this room ever. This is my private sanctum. <laughs> Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. <sighs> <laughs> Good morning, Kelly Matthews. Everyone who is laughing, you are bastards. <laughs> Brian says, question, why do people have children? That is a very good question. I do not know the answer. Good morning, Claire Borden, Claire Count 2. Good morning, this old helmet. Real Love Reseller asked, how many mugs today, Carlo, as you're not buying any? No mugs. Hardly any haul. This old helmet says, I can see that this is not about helmets. I am surrounded by helmets, if that helps. <laughs> right. It was a poor car boot. I only spent four pounds. I wish I hadn't come home. Daisy May says, hit the like button if you laughed. Thank you, Daisy May. <laughs> if you laugh at me dying, thanks very much. 
Lex says, oh, kids are annoying and they smell funny. <sighs> I bought at the car boot one roll of Laura Ashley wallpaper for which I paid a pound and is probably worth about 50p. It's not been a good haul today at all. I've looked this one up. It's not a particularly popular one. I've only got one roll. I might get six quid if I'm lucky. I also paid a pound for this Johnson's Brothers fruit, what do they call it? Fresh fruit clock. Um, these are the same, made by the same people who make eternal bow or made eternal bow. It needs a battery and I can't get to the batteries easily. Hang on. That's I need a bacon sandwich now. Let me just work out which way this battery goes in. I've no idea whether this battery works. Clock is now not ticking. Probably doesn't work. It was a quid. I also paid a pound for this. This is a Mulan Roti souvenir box. I've never seen one of these before. I've, I sell Mulan Roti toys quite a lot. Yeah, sometimes I can always use it for packing void. <laughs> um, and I don't know if this has been used. I would say probably not. It's quite a nice little, or maybe it has been used. Quite a nice little thing, though. Look, it's um, it's a bit like a one of the modern advent calendars that have the little drawers and and um, it's all in French, obviously, because Moulin Roti is a French company. Um, mes imprimantes, mes petits cheveux, mes premiers mots, ma première boogie. I presume French boogie is not bogey. Mon bracelet de maternité, which is your little hospital tag. Mes dragies, which I think, is that teeth? Ma tétine, bouchon de champagne. Oh, that's the cork from your champagne when you celebrate having a baby, which of course you do. Ma petite quenelle, ma petite chausson, ma petite bavoir, ma première trésor. I would have to get my French dictionary out and work out what all of those are. But it's a nice thing and it was a quid. Ugh. I've still not come back down from from my for my eek yet and then my last pound I told you this was a short haul my last pound went on these four items that's one george comforter in fairness that sells for about eight quid so that will cover the entire cost of the boot sale on its own two super mario mcdonald's toys which are worthless unless you've got a lot more of them and a hello kitty camera which is what you saw let's playing with a minute ago it's an actual working camera. Um, it's an actual dead camera because the battery's flat. But it is an actual working camera. And I've no idea if it's got any value or not. But for 25p, I chucked it in. And that's it. That's the haul. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. <laughs> My bread tastes mouldy. It's a fresh loaf. But the one that was in the... Um, the one that was in the bed bin had gone very, very green and furry, and I threw it away, and I didn't wash out and air out the bed bin, and I should have done, because the smell of the mould was still in there, and now my bed tastes weird. Good morning, Heather Treasure Pirate. Good morning, Mags. People are talking about cheese. You can tell what I'm boring when the chat starts talking about cheese, can't you? Lex says, I think I've been way too long. The chat's very clean. I should now lower the tone a bit. I got naked in the sea and it makes your bits all tingly. I think you'll find that's a jellyfish, love. <laughs> Dave says, why are you speaking a different language? What bottom am I, am I after hitting? <laughs> yeah, Jason says, Hello Kitty's been around since the 60s. I only found out that there. Yeah, but Hello Kitty was around when I was a kid in the 70s, so, hmm. Yeah, definitely been around for a while. Yeah, I can taste the fur in that bread, despite the fact that it's not furry. That's a bit distressing. I'm trying to find a wet white people. Bear with. Lisa says, can you stay live all morning, please? I'm hibernating from the rain. Depends on whether the kids try and kill me again, doesn't it? Mandy would like to know if sales are picked up this week. No, Mandy, they have not. Sales are rubbish. I sent Lex a message this morning saying, I'm completely sane. So why am I going out in this weather on a Sunday morning 
to look through other people's old tat, to bring it home and add it to piles of other other people's old tat that I haven't sold yet, with the eventual plan of listing it on eBay, where it still won't sell. And my business model is plainly flawed. Why am I doing this? DBG says moldy bread is actually good for you. It might be good for you, but it tastes horrible, doesn't it? It smells weird. I can definitely smell the mold. It's that sort of dusty smell. It's turned into some horrible kind of mukbang where you just sit and watch meat a sandwich. So there we go. I have, however, let's ignore the rest of the sandwich for now. I have got this to open. Lex says his aunt trying to poison you, possibly. May already have gone off that night and decided to move back in by killing me. Good morning, Cheryl. So this came in the week. There's no sender's address on it, but the writing looks a little familiar to me. There are three packages. One says one on it, one says two on it, and one says Buddy Kai and Molly love from Winnie Woo Woo, and that makes me think I know who this is from. Because Kelly, flipping fantastic finds, has a new dog and she's called Winnie. So I think this might be from you, Kelly, fantastic finds. Daisy May says new business plan, Carla, make mukbang videos every day. Cheryl says she slept through, am I dreaming? This is Cheryl's new baby about three months old now i think slept through do you do that thing don't you when they sleep through for the first time you wake up and you wonder if, the, if something terrible's happened in the night or whether they whether actually they didn't sleep through it's just that you did <laughs> joan says the rain is so bad we're flooding at the bottom of our street and we're stranded hubby's a driving instructor and can't drive out all cancels left all let us cancel ours shame so yeah i think this is oh hi double karma i think this is from kelly well there's a little envelope so i'm going to open the little envelope and find out Two months, sorry, not three months. It says, good morning, Carla. I love watching the Sunday show, hearing about your pickups and carbon antics. When I spotted parcel one, I thought of you. It was only 50p, although I do remember when it only cost a penny. Open parcel one. Okay. Opening parcel one. Doing as I've told, opening parcel one. It is from Kelly. <laughs> Can't get in here. It's from Kelly Flipping Fantastic Finds, DBG. And it's very well sealed. We love reseller. My dad is still in hospital today. He's not great, but thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly has very kindly sent me a shiwi <laughs> female urinal. <laughs> female urinal. <laughs> That's brilliant. I'm going to use it constantly. Wherever we are, whenever we go out, I'm going to use it at Hitchin in the pub. It says wash before first use, which is alarming because it makes you wonder what they were doing with it. Isn't that fabulous? <laughs> Good morning, Lady Ray. Uh, no, Molly has not been behaving herself this week. It's got instructions. What is a female urinal? A female urinal is a portable urinating device for ladies, allowing you to urinate while standing and without removing any clothes. Perfect for camping and festivals. Female urinal is especially useful when you don't want to sit on the inside of a public toilet or when one is not available. The instructions are just hold the female urine up against your body and go. Thanks. That's um, that's very instructing. So there we go. And if you've never seen a boy's pee pee, they look exactly like this. They're the same colour and shape and everything. That's exactly what a boy's pee pee looks like. <laughs> and if you haven't seen one, and when you do see one now, you'd be really surprised. But that's not what Carla said they look like. Jojo says, when you're out with the dogs in the park, you know, I had to rush home the other day because I needed a wee, so that's actually a really good idea. I might get banned from the park. Okay. 
Tracy Baker says she reads a very tricky. I took one to Glastonbury, it went in the hedge. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kelly says no more long car boot walks. At least defense says, can you use it to poop? Not unless I'm very, very talented. <laughs> Cheryl's got a potty in the back of the van, and yes, she's had to use it. Okay. And then it says, alternatively, see parcel two. I find this raises fewer eyebrows. <laughs> it feels soft and squishy. I've got a horrible idea what might be in here. <laughs> What are you saying? It's a teleflex, to be precise. <laughs> I don't know where to go with this. Look at this. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Thank you very much. I'll wear, I'll wear it out next time I go on a date. <laughs> so, just love the show from one piss quick to another, Kelly. Parcel three isn't for you. <laughs> Parcel three is not for me. Let's have another bite of this Moby sandwich. <laughs> for all of those screaming, put it on. The answer is no. <laughs> what if it doesn't fit? How embarrassing! <laughs> and this one's not for me. This is from Winnie Woo Woo, Kelly's new dog. Kelly's adopted a new rescue dog. And um, this is from Winnie for Buddy, Kai and Molly. So. I don't know if I can whistle with a mouthful of bits of bacon sandwich. sent you a present look you want this you can't see kai can you just move the camera down so you can... there he is one for kai -ki. one for molly who's very soggy buddy bud buddy buddy treaties sorry buddy come on treaties Buddy. Here we go. One for Buddy. Thank you very much. That was harder than it needed to be. Okay, let's see if we can get the camera straight. Thank you very much, Kelly. They're chuffed a bit. They'd like another one. You can have another one later. They'll be the size of houses if, if I allowed them to eat whenever they wanted. Okay, let me see what I've missed in the chat. Kelly, thank you so much for my wonderful gifts. <laughs> the dogs are very pleased with theirs. <laughs> Right, DBG says, question, there was only one nappy there, but they're sold in packs, so who kept the rest of them, eh? Ah, see, yeah. <laughs> oh, might you? That's something for me to look forward to. Okay. <laughs> um, Patricia's in. Morning, Patricia. Uh, Brian says, if the resale business drags, you now have the tools to create a very niche adult video series. <laughs> Catherine says you're making my dog go mad and I'm in bed, so I've got nothing for her. Sorry, Catherine. That was me whistling at my dogs. <laughs> Catherine says don't shout the T word. Sorry, Catherine's dog. <laughs> uh, Brian says my neighbor's dog just burst through my window. Um, and Kelly says hope they don't get whirlers farts when he gets jumbo and bum. <laughs> whirlers farts. These are bacon and cheese. God knows what the farts will be like. Oh dear, right. So there we go. That is my haul. That is my friend mail. Thank you so much, for my friend mail, Kelly. Let's just draw my sandwich. Doug Hughes says, Do you still feel guilty about stealing the Kit Kats? Well, I've eaten the evidence now, so um 
Nobody except you, me, and a thousand other subscribers will ever know. See? Sam's laughing about doggy trumps. <laughs> Lady says her daughter came in drunk and slid down the side of the bed. <laughs> How's everybody else to sell? Is anybody else still actually selling anything on eBay? Is that actually, is that still a thing these days? Anybody know? Anybody know if people still sell? Is that just is that all finished now? Right. I'm nearly done. You're nearly done. Okay. You can keep on chatting until I'm ready. Okay, I can keep on chatting until you're ready. I can keep on chatting until you're ready. Down. If you wouldn't mind, that'd be lovely. The dogs can have the crusts if you share them out between them. Oh, I thought I could throw them in that. No, because I'll just go through the bin again. My cat again, I'd be sitting. Oh, dear. Right. So let me see. Um. DBG says sales are disastrous. Is that a word? That's definitely a word. Um, Daisy May says no, no sales here, Carl. All finished. Yeah, eBay's not. It's eBay's over. eBay's so last year. Um, Lisa Fence has a long purple velvet gothic dress. Jojo has slow sales. Mandy has 17 yesterday. You would, Mandy. You just would. That's probably slow for Mandy. Kelly says eBay's dead. Oh Catherine says yesterday's sales were okay. Thursday and Friday were terrible. Brian says, I just wish the sales would slow down. All the work is so taxing. This is for you, you Brian. <laughs> Lex says, I made 400 while I was away, and then I turned the shop back on yesterday and did nearly 200. I've got one for you as well, Lex. Real Love Reseller says, four sales all week and two were yesterday. Lady says, when her daughter came home, she was on a live with DBG and Andrew at the time. She was also happy because they thought she was my sister and not my daughter. I was happy about it. You look very young, Lady, in fairness. You do look very young. Um, Jason says five sales yesterday until one cancelled. Sam says not too bad here, ten sales yesterday. And Kelly's going to Ikea. Does anyone want anything? Well, I'll have some meat balls, Kelly. Um, and another one of these clipboards. Oh, and some more of the hooks to go on it. Thank you. That'd be great. And Andrew's been chatting up Lainey's daughter. Andrew will chat up anyone. No, no, that sounds horrible. Sorry. I'm so sorry, Lainey's daughter. I did not mean that the way it sounded. That, well, I, I'm going to shit. Somebody passed me a spade so I can dig myself out of this hole. What I meant with was, well, I don't. I'm not surprised Andrew chatting up your daughter, Lainey. She's beautiful. However, Andrew seems to chat up everyone, is what I was trying to say. <laughs> Carla, we're ready. They're ready. Wow, that's a large and one. Look, look, listen. listen. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it out. Ooh. And what? Follow me. Is this the same balloon that was tiny on the couch this morning? I didn't know you could yeah. blow them back up. Yeah. I didn't know you could blow them back up. Okay. Um, people are now putting in their orders for IKEA. So Kelly, you need to bring back. Oh, hi, Sail Away. Um, Ke Kelly, you need to bring back. Where are we? A PAX unit of wardrobes for Lex, five Calax units for DBG, meatballs and Ikea candles for Bexify. Oh, Blaney's daughter is a lesbian, so I've just got even less chance than usual. Um, uh, Catherine wants all of the Calaxes, all of the ones in Ikea. Thank you. Oh, Linda says, can I ask a serious question? Linda Sutton says, hi, lovely lady. Can I ask a serious eBay question? Why does no one ever talk about the flipping VAT that is added to 10% fees, which makes it more like 12%? Gutsy, blah, blah, blah. I always talk about this. Whenever anyone says blah, 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 plus 10% fees, I always chip in and go, no, it's 12%. It's 12%. By the time you add the VAT, it's 12%. And I do it all the time. And I think I'm the only person in the world who does it. So all of you should start joining in. You need to remember your fees are not 10%. They are 12% because eBay charge you VAT. I used to mention it on forums all the time. It's like a fire alarm. It's extraordinarily entertaining. I'm delighted with it. Go on, off you go and shut the door, please. Thank you. Bye. Missing you already.
oh god i look like um family of blood in doctor who daughter of mine <laughs> okay um so yeah 12 percent on fees there we go alex is now chatting up laney's daughter Heather says seven sales yesterday and today nothing too special. I've had one sale today of ten pounds so far. People are now fighting over the calaxes, I think. Yeah, and, and a couple of people have now said by the time you bought PayPal for this well, they are adds up to about fifteen percent. And Daisy May says people forget to add the cost of the shop, etc. Eighty items a month on an eighty pound shop is a pound an item. This is true, but I've got fifteen hundred items. So, well, 1,400 items, so that brings it down per item quite a lot. I've got, flip it, can you guys see that? Look, I managed to get grease spot on my top. There it is, look. I shall have to go and put some um, washing up liquid on that. Um, yeah, Daisy said, uh, DVD says, won't need these calaxes once I burn all my stock, and that's how I am. Shazad, you are not allowed to mention your figure in the chat. <laughs> Good morning, Daily Jersey. Shazad is on £621.91 so far today. We love you, Shazad. We love you. But uh, Lex says um, she uh, uh, assumes that 20% of each goes to it into the eBay gods. And people are slagging off Andrew, I think. Not getting involved. Not getting involved in that. Oh, Daisy May says no number of sales per month, not listings per month. I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah, I suppose, that, yeah, when you, when you look at it that way, and that's... Yeah, that makes sense. Jason says, ka-ching, live stream magic. Thank you, Carla. I wouldn't mind some live stream magic. Ka-ching, you bastard. Ka-ching. A little bit of that would do me good. Good morning, uh, Malcolm Maury. So what's everybody else doing? Is it, is it where everywhere? Has anybody not got rain today? We've just got constant, constant drizzle occasionally building up into pissing down. Uh, Lainey says, when you have a shop, does that cover all eBay charges? No, it does not. It, what what your shop gives you is X amount of included listings per month, depending on which level shop you're on. So I am on a featured shop level and I get 1,500 prepaid listings. Is the best. They're not called, you know, people call them free listings, but not. They're 1,500 prepaid listings, which is cheaper than paying for them individually. And I think it's, I want to say 300 auction listings, but somebody might be around to correct me on that if I'm wrong um and then you get a promotional discount if you use promoted listings at tiny amount like six pounds or something a month I get back and you're supposed to get scheduled listings free but that seems to be a, a matter of opinion at the moment because some people seem to be getting it and some people aren't but you definitely still get all your final value fee you don't get any final value fee freeze nothing like that so yeah it's, it's not it doesn't it doesn't cover everything I should imagine my fees each month are I don't know because I pay them constantly. I never look at the monthly amount, but I should, they're huge. I know that they're bloody huge. Um, Mandy's got a kaching. Well done, Mandy. Uh, it's wet on the Isle of Wight. It's been raining in Manchester for the last five days. Wet in Manchester as usual. Wet where Heather is. Heather, you're in Kent, aren't you? So, um, yeah, daily. Uh, Jesse says, I've answered notice of cancellation of car boots this week. Dave says it's wet and miserable here in the Emerald Isle, but that's standard. <laughs> Pissing down where Jason is. Wet in the East Midlands. It's wet every. Oh, it's cool and dry where Neville is. But I think, am I right in thinking you're in Australia, Neville? You are, aren't you? All off to you then. We're all going to go and visit Neville for a week. Lex is going to do a whole week's post, unpack her suitcase, cry for a bit, eat some chicken, and cry some more. You should have come here, love. We could have cried together. <laughs> Kelly says, proper eBay chat. What's going on here then? He says it's horrible in Tinmouth. She's got the heating on and her frozen shoulders really sore. Linda says, with this weather near me in Harrogate, with the cycling races, they're all aquaplaning. Catherine reckons she pays about 500 in fees a month. Daisy May about 250. Tracy Bakes is not raining in Wells, and that's only just down the road. So perhaps it's on its way to you, Tracy. Sorry to sound miserable. Lisa Faith McCrossan says it's flooded in North Scotland. Basically, there's a heck of a lot of wet around, isn't there? There's a heck of a dry but threatening to rain in Glasgow. I'm raining where Deb Hughes is. She says it brother's coming soon with the kids. She's getting the locks on the door ready. <laughs> yeah, it's just coming into spring, Australia. We're all off to see Neville. Hot and sunny in Lands are off to you. All right for you, Jilly. And um Adele's in. Good morning, Adele. I'm off to Mallorca a week on Tuesday. I'm looking forward to that. Let's hope they've got some sunshine there because um I don't really want a week of rain on my holiday. 
Might whinge. Might whinge and moan a bit. Oh, I tell a lie. There's one stolen Kit Kat left in that fridge. Um, South Wales is flooded. Um, Michaela says, Drizzle in Birmingham. Donna's in. Good morning, Donna the Bummy. Yeah, right time of year to go on holiday, definitely, definitely. Just hope we get some decent weather. I look very, very bedraggled, don't I? Very hedge backwards, as my granny would say. Oh, well, you're used to it. I always look like this. So, yes, yeah, so I've opened my friend mail. I've shown you my massive haul. Death by Glamour's putting knives up. I think those are for Brian. I was drying crisp, crisp in pressure, apparently. That's what go there. Mandy's fees are £1,600 a month. She says eBay, greedy bastards. You missed my tiny haul, lady, but I can show you again. Ready? Roll of wallpaper, Laurel Ashley. Clock that may or may not work, although I think that hand might have moved, so maybe it is working. I don't know. We'll have a look at that again in a minute and see if hands moved again, yeah? It's certainly not ticking. Um... A Rulan Roti memory box in its packaging. A comforter. Two shit McDonald's toys. And a Hello Kitty camera. That's the lot. There you go. Such a small haul that I could actually repeat it six or seven times in the hour and um, still have time to fill. People are commiserating with Mandy about her fees. See, <laughs> when you see this bag behind me on the wall, this Tesco's bag, that actually sums up my fucking eBay recently. <laughs> I think it's printed with many happy returns, but um, many returns just about sums up my eBay recently. The returns are thick and fast. What I am discovering is that at some point my listing skills must, I must have been... I must have been trying too hard to list quickly because I make, I've made stupid mistakes on quite a few listings recently. So, yeah. Um, more haste, less speed. I pay my fees pretty much daily or at least every couple of days because I can't stand can't stand paying it all in one go. It would hurt too much. <laughs> Brian says, show us your haul, but present it as a mime would. <laughs> Or Pharaoh, I found pronounced you correctly, so WD-40 and manually rotate the hands. Leave it to sit and you should find the clock working in a few days. Thank you. Um, I will give that a go. At the moment, I'm trying to establish whether the battery I put in works or not. I can't decide whether the hands have moved or whether those hands were on that time earlier on, if the battery is just, if it's just going really, really, really slowly. So um, I'll keep trying. I've got new batteries. I've got batteries that I know are new somewhere. So we'll try that first. <clears throat> Lisa said, I just bought a pair of, of Dr. Martin type boots with red roses embroidered and a black batwing hoodie with actual padded backwings on the back and a black goth style Joe Brown skirt for my daughter. She's 30 years old, has very bad health. She's having a bad time right now and I wanted to make her smile. Well, that should um, that should help. Yeah, of course, a working battery would help. Yeah, I, this is probably not a good battery. <laughs> Lex says, speed won't help, but a gram of coke may help with her speed and accuracy. <laughs> and then she says, just kidding, folks. Drugs are bad, okay? <laughs> okay, have I missed anybody else's? If I've missed your comment, please do repeat it and put, you missed this, because, you know, I'm not sitting here deliberately ignoring you. I really, I'm really blare at the moment. Blare. We are, I'd say this room is 90% done now, apart from the fact that the stuff's got to come home from the office. Hi, Cassie Carl, but we are 90% at the point where the stuff can come home from the office. Malcolm says, do women ever have new batteries? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we do, Malcolm, but we um, we prioritise them differently. As I was saying, this room is 90% ready now for the stuff to come home from the office. I should be getting on with listings. I don't feel listing-y. I don't feel... I, I, I feel like eBay's let me down so badly recently that what the fuck is the point of putting more on? And yet I know that if I don't put more on, it won't sell. You know, you have to keep feeding the beast. I know this is how it works, but I'm just not feeling the love. I'm not feeling the eBay love. Absolutely for smoke detectors, Brian. That's exactly what for. Lainey says, how's Nat's room going? Um, the 
white walls are painted we've got to crack on with the um wallpaper at some point but it really is at some point it's it's little by little dad is still in hospital he's not great and um and the weather brings me down i am absolutely not a winter person i get the old um the old sad the old blues when the winter comes around lisa wants to know if i'm admitting to owning a bob i worked for ann summers lisa for 10 years i'm gonna leave that with you <laughs> death by glow says i feel like a shit in a swing swung today <laughs> And really, really love reseller says it's frustrating being surrounded by talent that's not selling. That's what causes blah feeling. Exactly, yeah. Um, just a very quick note, just go back up. Sorry. Uh, Tracy Baker says, Carla, could you say happy birthday to my husband, Richard? He's 49 today and he always watches you with me. Thanks. Happy birthday, Richard Baker. I presume you're Baker as well, but if you're not, happy birthday, Richard, whoever you are. Happy 49th birthday and many happy returns. And make sure they don't give you the bumps, mate. That's all I can say. If anybody looks like they're going to give you the bumps, run, run like fuck um real love resellers it's frustrating surrounded by tat that's not selling that's what causes bluffing i think i read that a minute ago lex has put the whole store on one weekend 50 percent off sales i've got 25 percent sale 25 percent off on 50 percent as it is 50 percent of the store as it is alian tin can copper kettle brass band fern is in good morning to you sam's gonna have a pj day and another brew uh lady says do a very low list in a couple of days the problem is what's what's stopping me at the moment is that it seems counterproductive to take stuff to the office because everything from the office is going to come back sometime in the next eight weeks or so however the photographing area and lights and all the rest of it are still at the office so i'm sitting here i'm drafting it it's sitting there in bags and i need to take that to the office to get it photographed and then it's going to be in the wrong bloody place so what i need to do is bring the lighting stuff home and then i can take photographs here and not take anything else to the office and as soon as that corner is clear that's what i can do uh just as a knowledge bomb you can't sell what isn't listed <laughs> joan says i hate winter i just hibernate dbg says this is her favorite time of year weirdo i have got a sad lamp lurks it's in the loft i need to get it back down do I keep them all in this display cabinet? No, I do not. I keep them close to hand under the bed. Good morning, Aid Waldron. Long time no see. How are you? He said it sounds like a dull day all around. Yeah, we're all a bit blurred, Aid. Come in and cheer us up. Uh, Claire says you'll feel better when your rooms are completely sorted. Catherine says I love winter, love the cold, dark days. I hate summer and the light days, so I feel down by the weather. And made to set in see, I'm the opposite. I like the light. It's, it's not the... The rain doesn't really bother me, although it's not very cheerful. It's the greyness. I want sunshine. I don't mind cold, crisp days. That's fine. I don't have to have heat, but I can't have this greyness. Good morning, Kathy. You missed the notification. Mick Page says, hi from Miserable Dorset, but I'm not miserable as today. It's one month since I stopped painkillers and antidepressants. Bloody hard, but I've done it as I've been over, on them for over three years. Well done, Mick. That's a heck of an achievement. Really well done to you. Jesse said, I took loads of money to the charity shop yesterday to reduce the power so it doesn't look so bad. I have sent a lot of stuff to the charity shop recently, an awful lot. And Mandy says, I find sales don't work. Manually lowering prices is what I do. I think I need to do that. Of course, I used to do that before um, the compulsory good to council came in. I used to lower all the prices while I did the relists. Now I don't do that anymore because the good to council just keeps them churning. So I hate good to council. I hate it with a passion. <sighs> I hate the fact that they bring these things in. They don't ask anyone's opinion. They just go, this is what we're doing now. Tough shit. Thanks. Thanks a lot. It means that I am continuing. And, and then they dub the cheek to put all those little messages saying, this listing has had no interest for the last 47 years. Please consider revising it. I would have done if you hadn't put it on good till cancer. It had been revised a long time ago. Mm. Not happy about that. Morning, Joan. <laughs> Brian says, spring and summer are depressing. Also, smiling and laughter and kids and kittens, rainbows and glitter. You are such a cheerful soul. Lisa says, autumn and winter are her, her, her favourite. So, we're all different, aren't we? Have our holiday planned? Yes, I'm off a week on Tuesday, Clara, so that can't come soon enough. Lex says, I'm a summer baby. I want light and late sunsets and warm and beach. And DBG says, yeah, I fucking hate happy people. <laughs> Uh, oh, Ferris says, I don't mind this time of year, probably because I'm spending the next two months in Bali. Well, yeah, that would take the edge off it, wouldn't it? Good morning, Rebecca. I did not book with Thomas Cook, no, Lisa. Yeah, Jesse, Jesse says, I keep forgetting about the Good Till cancelled listings and then discover it's still listed months later. 
that's it. It, it. It's just added an extra layer of things I should remember to do to my brain. And there's, my brain is already layered up with things I should remember to do and can't be fucking, you know. I have to, Now I have to go in and I have to physically go, oh, yes, I need to reduce some prices. Whereas before, it was a relist. And as I did the relists, I reduced the prices and it was so straightforward. And I just, yeah. Yeah, Real Love Reseller says good to counsel is killing eBay. And I think you're right. Aid says, how's the room coming on? It's, um, I was just saying before you popped in, Aid, it's 90% my own stuff in here now there's only a tiny little bit of natalie stuff ready that needs to go it still requires a little bit me or reorganization but um we're almost ready for the stuff to start coming home from the office but because i'm going on holiday a week on tuesday there's absolutely no chance of me bringing any of that stuff home from the office until after we get back so um yeah as, um, I'm, like I said, I might bring the lighting kit home, but I'm not starting to bring Carlax units home and whatever until. And I think I'd, I'd rather do it all in one day as well. I think I'd rather hire a van and get all of that stuff back here in a day than do it in dribs and drabs and not know where stuff is, you know? About, if you if you do it in dribs and drabs, you're going to have that situation where something sells and you're like, is that here or there? So. Brian says, GTC is definitely not the problem. That's silly. Been GTC for years. Speak for yourself, mate. I don't like it. <laughs> Lex says, can't do it while you're away. Or bring the stuff home. He could, but he would do it his way. And I would come home to a world of chaos, which I don't want. So, um, so yeah, I don't, I don't want that at all. I, I want to be... Um, in, I want to be in a supervisory capacity when that happens so that I make sure things go where I want them because also he will put things where he thinks they should go rather than where I want them to go yeah so so I want to be very much in control of that because at the end of the day this is it's my work environment it's me that's got to got to work with it once it's set up so okay um somebody's asking oh Mandy said she booked a holiday with Thomas Cook I'm so sorry Mandy you should get your money back I hope um and Somebody said, was I going to Turkey? And somebody asked, we're we going to Mallorca again. We're going to Calador. And just hope we get decent weather. Ashley Cummings says, I just want to say, well done to all you resellers. Don't think people realise how hard work you do. I'm clearing my house. It took me six months to list 200 items, not sell, just list. <laughs> you get better at it the more you do it, obviously. It, you know, it becomes second nature. But even so, it's... Yeah. DBG says the first few months are hardest, and she's right. Yeah, it will get better. Yeah, Relove said GTC was an option before. Now it's compulsory. It's not ideal. Michaela says, my lovely menopause. I'm looking forward to the cold weather. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to not being too hot. That's that, That's a good thing. Morning, Fandria. DBG says, uh, sorry, Lisa says, DBG will do a Halloween party with grandkids. Shazad says, I've just received an email from eBay requesting me to sign NDA before I can attend the eBay seller council next week. Non-disclosure agreement. NDA, non-disclosure agreement. So the, so it's, it's so basically, if you're going to be, if you're going to tell you our secrets, you've got to promise not to tell anybody else our secrets. Well, I feel like you should tell us. Brian says you just don't like GTC because it's new to you. I felt the same way about cancer years ago. I love it now. Brian, you're 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 a nightmare. <laughs> oh, Mandy said also and after three days on the phone, should I go through it? So you've saved your holiday. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> yeah, non-disclosure agreement. Yeah. So they want to tell you secrets, but they don't want you to tell them to anybody else. We'll come and find you and pump you thoroughly for your secrets <laughs> i can do stuff with my eyebrows but you can't see because my fringe is too long yeah so that i'm glad you got that sorted out mandy that's um that's pretty good how do you manage to sort out if it was booked with thomas cook how did you sort out so quickly She's now said at this event, you'll be asked to share your thoughts on three different topics. Seller hub conversion, seller hub velocity, retail standards and incentives. Hmm. Hmm. Can you share your thoughts on um, the fact that my views 
have absolutely plummeted because they're not showing my stuff to people. The fact that promoted listings are pointless because they don't show your stuff to people. And um, and the fact that I don't think they're showing my stuff to people. Can you share your views on that? <laughs> have you still not got Seller Hub, DBG? And is that because you're on eBay Island? Have they still not brought Seller Hub out over? That's really weird, isn't it? Because it's been around a long time now. Rust Reloaded said, damn, didn't get the notification. Have I missed it all? There was almost nothing, but yes, you have. It was it was the world's tiniest haul, and I've done it twice. It was so small, and I've still and still had a lot of filling to do. <laughs> Mick Page says, Shazad, if you don't tell us, we will set Lexi on you. I don't know if he means little Lexi, who was here a minute ago, or 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 Lex Oliver. Either one is quite terrifying. If you mean Lex Oliver, she's more terrifying if you call her Lexi, just so you know. There is no I in Lex. <laughs> Even the chat's gone quiet. There's 111 people watching. Can you all please, all 111 of you who are currently watching, can you all please pop into the, sh into the chat and say, boobies. I want the whole screen full of boobies <laughs> mandy says we booked a package holiday via travel republic so i had to cancel the whole package and rebook it additional cost of 400 ouch lady says ebay ireland sounds like a place where old resellers go when they stop resell off to the ebay island <laughs> uh brian says ireland doesn't actually just have ebay at all dbg just lists items on a word document each day sad really <laughs> oh look my my boobies all just suddenly <laughs> Yeah, Lex is agreeing that there's no eye in Lex. Foundry's got to be different. She's got big knockers instead of boobies. Look at the number of people typing the word boobies now. Aid Waldra said, did you just say shat? I don't think I said shat. Did I say shat? I might have done. <laughs> Malcolm says jubblies. Bexify says bilbs. <laughs> Lady's getting all artistic. Oh, Malcolm's done it like we used to do on the old calculator. 8008135. <laughs> Gary Rusto's popped in just to say titties, and now there's 130. Now there's 113 people watching. Those two people who've come in since I said this, and now looking at the chat, going, "What the actual Jeff is going on here? Why is everybody just posting about boobs?" <laughs> four, the 115 people. So those four people, I was bored, so I asked everyone in the chat to post about boobs. That's that's why you're suddenly, you're suddenly seeing. I'm loving the idea of these four people wandering and going, um. Reselling chat. <laughs> I can't see the mods, you have to remember. I cannot see the mods in the chat. So I don't know who is now getting modded and who isn't and who's getting chucked out. I can't see any of that because I'm going through StreamYard. It all just goes straight past me. And Brian says she's Brian's accidentally banned Heather. Let Heather back in. <laughs> I don't know how you let Heather back in. I'll have to I'll have to go to my account and see if I can unban her. Oh, let me see if I can. I've, I've done this once before because some, one of the other mods got a bit trigger happy once and accidentally chucked somebody out. But I don't know if I can remember how to do that. <laughs> oh God, it's all just chaos. Right, hang on a second. I know I have to go to my channel. doesn't help as well of course that everything's different now isn't it my channel hold on heather i'm coming for you <laughs> trying to save you heather um community no it's not community is it in studio Oh, no, we may have lost Heather forever. <laughs> Lisa says, free the Kent one. <laughs> Brian says, Christ, I've gone and Peter made my moderator duties. <laughs> I haven't seen Shiv for ages either. Shiv, if you watch this, we miss you. <laughs> I'm still trying to find a way to let Heather back in. Bear with Oh, God. 
hang on, let's have a Google. How to unban from YouTube. Mouse up to the upper right-hand corner. Click on your avatar icon. Mouse down to create a studio. Next, look at the names you have back. Oh, Lord. It's going to be complicated. It's always complicated. <laughs> Sorry, Heather. <laughs> We're all Googling, I think, Jesse. It's all working very slowly now, obviously, because I want it to work faster. Come on, Internet. I think the hamster's died. It's not pedaling fast enough. Click on there. Click on Creator Studio. Take it back to Classic because I can't work the new beta. Can anybody work the YouTube beta thing? Is it just me? <laughs> Lisa says, strap yourself in, Carla's going to try and do tech stuff. <laughs> Elizabeth D says, I only found your channel yesterday. Just want to say thank you for being so inspiring. Bless you, my child. Since I started clearing out seriously five years ago, I've sold nearly 7,000 of stuff I no longer want or need. It's amazing how much stuff we collect, isn't it, actually? It really is amazing how much stuff we just accumulate that we don't really want. This has totally gone on a go slow now because I want it to do things. A specific feature is hard to use, as in all of the damn thing. Oh, DBG says if Brian scrolls back up to where it says he hid her, she, he can unhide her. Apparently. How to unban. Oh, it's a bloody video. I don't want a video. Right, hang on. Most over the last time. Sorry. Click on community. So slow. Subscribers. Oh my goodness, they're not even alphabetical. So I've got to try and find Heather. Brian, you'll have to do it your end because by the time I've tried to find Heather, we'll all have died of old age. There's no search facility. You can't change the way it's listed. Oh, hang on. Most popular. That's not helpful. Right, Brian, it's all you, mate. It's all you. I can't find her. <laughs> Yeah, you don't you don't want to upset Heather. She'll she will put a spell on you. Heather, I will find you and I will bring you home. Hold on, Heather, don't give up on me. However, I'm scrolling through 2200 names. And it may be some time. <laughs> This is when, imagine if it was Nick, he's got 35,000 subscribers. Imagine if he had to do this. He'd stay banned, I reckon. <gasps> Brian says he's fixed it. Brian, you've done it. Is she there? Are you in? She's probably gone away. She's probably gone for a lie down. She's probably given up. Well done, Brian. I'm so glad you found that because that was a long way through. Oh, yeah, Control F, she's had. Why didn't I think of that? Do. <laughs> Heather's in! Hey, Round of applause for Heather! Woo! Welcome back, Heather. We love you. We never gave up. We never gave up, Heather. None of us. We were all Team Heather. Now, what should we do to Brian? <laughs> <laughs> Brian,
Ryan's very sorry, Heather, honestly, he really is. He probably won't say so himself, but he is. He's very sorry. <laughs> oh, dear. What a kerfuffle. Well, that was an interesting 10 minutes, wasn't it? Anybody who's tuned in the last 10 minutes has probably died of boredom watching this. Lisa Van says, give Heather a piece of orange to suck her shoulder up and a pep talk to go beat the shit out of Brian. Third Claire's in. I missed a Claire. Sorry. Claire, Claire count three. I don't know which Claire's we've got and which Claire's we haven't now. <laughs> Everybody's now shouting, ban Brian. Crucify Brian! <laughs> Sorry, that was from the life of Brian. That was confiscate the spanner. I can't. I don't know how to work any of it from Streamyard. Every, everyone who's got a spanner gets to keep them now. I can't give any new ones out either. Hi, Claire Wiley. <laughs> Ever since I was casting them into the wilderness, all for saying breasticles. Now, where's that spell book? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> and Mandy's got a sale. Hey, well done, Mandy. Has anybody else got any sales? Lex says I'm Brian, and so is my wife. <laughs> 4 99 Mandy, this time next year we'll be millionaires. Anybody else had any sales? I haven't had any sales. No sales here. Come on, phone. Do a little ka ching for mummy. There's a good phone. Rust Reloader said he's not a moderator, he's a very naughty boy. <laughs> oh dear. Brian says, if you punish me, the cancer wins. Is that what your monsters want? <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I need to lie down. This has been exhausting. State of that door. Can you see where we painted some of it in a new shade of paint and it didn't really work? You might have to actually paint that door. I might use that door as the um, as the broom cupboard wall and put all the broom cupboard stuff on there because some of it's on this wall at the moment. For, for those of you who don't realise, I've... Oh, hang on. I'm starting to feel sick now. Oh, the camera wire stuck down. Anyway, this wall has got some broom cupboardy stuff on it. There's Catherine's plane, and there's Kelly's picture, and there's um, Lil and Alf's picture there. Shiv's ones are still on the door in the other room at the moment because I haven't cleared the door off. But um, I might, when I do that, use that door behind me as the broom cupboard wall. I haven't had any broom cupboard, cupboard pictures for ages. Brian says the spanner's all I've got going for me. It's all that's left. <laughs> Jones sending him to Naughty Step. Heather, Heather got a 24 99 ka-ching when she was banned. Excellent. Can somebody ban me? Maybe I'll get one. <laughs> oh, dear. Lisa's got no sales. Malcolm's done a bundle of three cents at CDs for $13.99. None for Jesse. Real every seller said I sold yesterday. £60 plus paste. Post, put, put, bleh, 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 long deep. Sixty pound plus postage for Dax silk wool blazer cost me a tenner. That's not bad. Catherine says my plane is simply amazing. It is indeed. Ryan says I bought something for you to, for you due to my shame, Heather. <laughs> and Catherine says ban me. Everybody's going to want to get banned from my chat now, so they get kachings. <laughs> I want to be banned myself. Right, it's been over an hour. It's been a shambles. There are one hundred and twenty people watching, and bless you all for tuning into this absolute chaos. <laughs> um, I'm going before Brian literally starts swinging that band spanner around and catching somebody on the side of the head with it. <laughs> Relust, re Rust Reload, this is no sales here today. Perhaps I should try something drastic. Listing, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to go to the office this afternoon. I've got stuff to pick up to parcel. I know I said I've got... I've, 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 I mean, it's not that I've got no sales. It's just that they're bloody rubbish and I'm really struggling to even to get to 50 quid with the sales a day and they're all tiny i'm selling 4.99 5.99 you know this is ridiculous this is not this is not how i want life to be but i'm gonna have to go to the office and pick up stuff for parceling and maybe bring the lighting setup back today maybe today's the day for that maybe zahir has just arrived and i'm just going sorry zahir it's nothing personal mate i've been here an hour talking shite and i'm about to toddle off and talk shite to the family instead so Everybody have a lovely rest of your Sunday. I hope the rain dries up for some of you at least. Uh, I hope, Joan, I hope that your flood dries up enough for you to actually be able to get out of your street. Everybody have a good week. I've got um, I've got the weekly waffle coming out tonight. I've got uh, Home Bargains Hall coming out Tuesday night, I think. Tuesday, Tuesday. 
Um, Mandy says amend a load of prices. I might go and do that. Actually, that's a good point, Mandy. I might go and do that. Um, and <laughs> Catherine says, watch back, Z. It's very informative. <laughs> not one. <laughs> not sure that's that's false advertising is what that is, Catherine. <laughs> Brian says, ban you later, everybody. <laughs> right. Okay. Everybody have a lovely week with not so many returns. I can't point to that. Not so many returns. <laughs> and I will see you all soon. Take care. Bye for now.